Hello guys, Lady here, back on our wonderful server, and I'm standing in front of the super cool ballista that we made in the last episode. Looking so fancy here in our fairy tale castle. I really like the look of it. I have uh, just added a couple of details, changed it up just a tiny bit, just to give it a bit more of a mechanical feel, make it feel like it can actually lift up here and start shooting but yeah i'm really happy with how this thing turned out last episode now the first thing i want to do in today's episode is to come back to this a wonderful farming district and start filling in all of these fields with crops as you can see i have successfully finished up all of these walls now so all the fields are completely filled in and surrounded and it's getting nighttime. <laughs> oh, and that was my last rocket. But uh, yeah, this place is looking good. So I want to start out by really filling these things in and just making it look a lot more like an actual farming district. So if we land down here, you can see I've got a bunch of shulker boxes that are full of all the crops that we're going to use to fill this place out. So yeah. I'm not gonna waste any more time. I'm gonna sleep the night away and then I'm gonna get to work filling in all of these fields with the respective crops. Okay guys, I have just been AFK for a little bit, trying to wait for some of these crops that I've been planting to grow. And it looks like they have for the most part. Uh, let's have a little fly around and I'll show you what I've done so far. Oh, dat lag. Okay, so what we've got so far is these ones here. So you'll notice I have left a few of the fields empty uh, so far. So we've got carrots, potatoes, that's beetroot there. That's another potatoes because I feel like potatoes are pretty important for these people. And then we've got our pumpkins and our melons. So there's three fields left to do that I haven't done anything with yet. So this one right here is going to be a big wheat field, but it's going to be harvested. So the idea is that most farms and stuff usually have two fields and particularly with something like wheat, something that's that important. So we've got that really big wheat field there that is, you know, grown up. And this one here will have already been harvested. So I'm going to make this, um, yeah, somehow look like it's it's already harvested or they're waiting before they sow the seeds again. And yes, yeah, so that's what I'm going to do with this one. And then with these two smaller fields, I want to do something not quite like vanilla. So I'm thinking of doing flowers, but whether they'll be actually flowers or something else, I don't know. But this one here seems like a good place for... I wish we had the bushes that are supposedly coming in 1.14. That'd be so good to have those. But um, either I'll make some fake bushes and things like that and make it like grapes and berries. Or I could plant some flowers in here or maybe a few like small tree type things. Make it like a little small vineyard and things like that. And then the last field that I have yet to do is just this little one over here. And again, this is going to be flowers. I'm thinking roses because, you know, I think roses are probably something that they like a lot in this castle. There's a lot of roses planted within the castle. I don't think it makes sense to have some sort of rose bush garden thing growing out here in the fields. So I think that's what I'm going to do. Um, and I'll do those three fields finish this place up and then we can bring you back and see the finished product guys this is super exciting the farmland is actually starting to look finished it's absolutely amazing All right, I'm gonna turn around and we'll have a look at how this is but the crops and the fields are all completely done boom there we go guys isn't it beautiful? I just love the way that looks and the flowers help bring so much more color into the area that's not just green. Okay, so I do have future plans in the next few episodes to finish this off. And I think I might even do some of it in today's episode. 
But uh, we've got a few areas left. That, as you might remember, is going to be a tourney ground and sort of a training area for knights. So they walk through the farmland to get to that place. I think that's pretty cool and pretty realistic. Now that whole area back there, that little peninsula, is going to be a really small farming village. So that's where the really poor people who work on these farms actually live. Just a few small um, houses and stuff like that. Probably going to do that next episode, so get excited for that. And this area here is going to be sort of a little barn on the top of that hill there. And this will be all walled off with something similar to this. But it's going to be a livestock area. So it's going to be, you know, taller walls to make sure none of those livestock come out. And we'll have some free roaming cows and sheep and uh, yeah, a little barn to keep uh, some of them in. And yeah, it's really exciting. Once we do that, this area is basically going to be finished. So I do think I want to get started with that. We may not finish it in today's episode, but I want to get started with that. At least get some, maybe the walls in and maybe just a little bit of the layout for the barn. And yeah, then this place is going to look so amazing. Okay, let's see what this is looking like coming out of the castle. Oh, wow. Yeah, those roses. I just love those. Such a good choice there, I think. Just the red popping out looks amazing. You can almost pretend they're like tomatoes or something like that. But yeah. Oh, so lovely. So we come this way. This is the active wheat field that we're using. We have our pumpkin patch, our rose garden. The potato fields and then we've got the lovely view of the windmill coming into view there we've got our melon patch we have the non-active or already harvested wheat field and um, coming along here we have our beetroots i love that color i wish you could see a little bit more of the red instead of all that bright green and we've got our carrot fields looking snazzy huge carrot fields of course now over here is where we've got the uh, the tournament grounds and there's gonna be like a huge tent up here. It's gonna be really cool. That is such a good view of the castle as well. I love all the greenery that's coming, overgrown in all the walls. We have also got down here, so these are the lilacs and peonies that I mixed in together. Uh, oh, forgot to get rid of that. It looks a bit messy coming in here. I don't know, I was trying to make it seem more of um, like plants of some sort like berries or um i know a lot of people use the lilacs as sort of a lavender plant but i wanted to go more along the lines of something more edible i don't know anyway <laughs> going down here we have our second potato field and then coming up to the windmill so really liking this oh, I, I really am happy with how it's coming out Anyway, let's um, just, this area is looking so completed and so beautiful that this blank spot here is really a bit of an eyesore. So we're going to get this area walled off for the livestock and maybe put down some uh, layouts for the, uh, for where the barn is going to go. And then when it's all walled off, we can move these sheep in there because I don't like this ugly little square pen. All right, guys, so I got a little bit distracted. As you can see, I have laid out where the walls for the livestock area are going to be, as well as a basic shape of the uh, of the barn. I might make it a little bit more interesting than just a rectangle. But as I was doing that, I was having a look and I decided I really wanted to add another little patch just here. So I moved my sheep over here just temporarily. Uh, so that I could do this and I've just made the wall and I had to go get a few more resources I was thinking about what I wanted to put in here and I think I, I've decided I want to do another one of these sort of flower patches sorry guys I did actually record the whole segment of me making this particular flower patch but something happened to the audio and it just dropped out so instead I'm gonna have to show you the finished product boom there we go actually really like the way it turned out. I was trying to go with um, maybe a bit of hidden like sort of berries or something like that. Trying to make the flowers look like they are um, maybe blueberries or something like that. Something edible. <laughs> but um, yeah, I, I do like the way it came out. It's really different to all the others and it does bring out just another color into this entire area. So really happy with that. 
Something I wanted to show you guys real quick that I forgot to show you earlier is something that I discovered and I think it's really cool so I want to show you. I figured out a way to hide both lighting and the uh, water for the crops in the same spot. So there we go. Just a bit of a glowstone down there and then a waterlogged trapdoor. And it means that I don't have to waste too many crop spaces on hiding lighting and water separately. Um, and yeah, I think it's really good. It looks really nice and it's really efficient and yeah, works really well. So I've got that in all of these just for, you know, um, continuity's sake. <laughs> oh, look at that. That looks so cool. Castle and the fields. Oh, I'm loving that and all the colors and stuff coming through. I'm gonna take a screenshot. There you go, lovely. So I've decided I wanna leave this for now, this uh, livestock area. We'll probably do that in a different episode. All right, guys, so let's have one more fly around this now completed farmland. Check that out. I love the flowers and the color that they bring to this area. I really wish those crops weren't quite so fluoro green. <laughs> But uh, yeah, it looks really good. Yeah, and I'm, I'm really happy about that, that little addition there. So I'm gonna leave this project for another day, this whole livestock area, and we're gonna go and get started on the next project we're doing for today. But before I do that, let's quickly land down on top of one of these roofs here, if I can, and show you this is the new house that has just been added to the town, the castle town. And come down here. I also continued doing some more ivy. So I had a bit there already. Um, and obviously throughout the entire castle, I have been going for that sort of overgrown kind of look. I was working on this area and this big gray wall was just a little bit much for me. So I added these, uh, these vines and stuff to sort of break it up a little bit. And this is the new house. I sort of differed with the uh, the roof there. I did a little sort of a, a different roof than what we've got going, but still obviously the, the same style and architecture of the rest of the castle. But it's good to have like differences, you know, maybe the same person didn't build every single one of these buildings. I wanna quickly mention back here. So this is the last area still to be done within the castle walls. And after this is done, it's basically all finished. At least the exteriors are finished. But um, yeah, I really don't know what to put here because uh, if there's not a lot of room for a building. And this here, these are sort of the, the smoke holes for the kitchen. That's, that's the kitchen in there for the castle. And that's sort of a defensive area on the side there. So you can't really have anything too tall obscuring those areas. It's gonna have to be a very small building if I do do a building here. Anyway, it's getting nighttime. I'm gonna go run and sleep and make a day. And then we're gonna head over to the shopping district. Yep, you heard me. We are taking a break now from our fairy tale kingdom. We're gonna head over to the shopping district and work on a brand new shop idea that I've got. So we're gonna be selling sort of, uh, we're gonna set up a fresh fruit and veg farmer's market type thing, which will be really cool, I think. And we can sell all of the crops and the veggies and stuff like that that we've got, I'm just gonna go through a little secret secret entrance here to our portal. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so we're gonna go uh, set that up. I have been there before and just picked a spot that I want to build in. So we'll head over there and uh, yeah, I'll show you what we're planning. Okay guys, we're here at spawn. And um, yeah, there's been a few new things popping up here. This shop here is new and it does actually sell carrots and potatoes. But they are pretty expensive and I think we can do better. So up here is where I've decided to build my shop. Uh, I've terraformed this a little bit, just smoothed out the land and sort of made it a nice space to start building with. And if we take to the skies, you can see I'm going to use that entire area, but there's going to be a building and then some stuff out uh, outside. So that is where I'm going to work today and yeah hopefully we get this thing finished so i'm sort of working with a little bit of a different palette and uh like build style than what i usually do four five start with that um got this shulker box here we're using some red terracotta and some quartz primarily 
And yeah, I'm really excited for this because it's really nice to take a break every now and then um, from our fairy tale medieval building back at the base. And I've found the best place to do that is here in the shopping district. Okay guys, so this is what we've got so far. As you can probably tell, it is sort of a, a barn. So a more modern type of barn. It's farming barn with the, the red and white. It took me a while to, to come to this sort of point here. Um, I uh, have been struggling with it a little bit, but I think I'm happy with this so far. All right, I think I've got something pretty cool. So let's fly off in this direction and get a good look at how the roof is looking. So that's how it is at the moment. Um, I've been going back and forth about the, uh, let's land up here, about the shape. Um, yeah, I was thinking more, maybe a little bit more just, because it, it's, it's quite angular right now. And a little bit more of a curve might be the way to go but I don't know I do quite like the way it's going we will have a lot more detail on those sides don't you worry but if we come up on this direction this is gonna be where you mostly see it from this side here and I'm really liking that love the color scheme definitely looking like a farming barn now I think it's time to get some spruce up in here all right so I really wasn't happy with the roof of this thing so I decided to change it up. So give it a little bit more of a, a rustic sort of look. I also, as well, I thought that the um, that the pillars, the quartz pillar blocks, were just a little bit too much. So I did change those out for bone, and you'll see that in a second. I just want to finish off this roof, and then we'll have a fly around and see what it looks like all finished up it might be a bit too much stone so i might go ahead and break it up again like i had before with a bit of quartz in the middle of the uh in the middle of the roof sort of um coming up in in line sort of in line with the pillars and stuff so i might do that if it if it seems a little bit too stone bricky but let me just finish this roof off and we can have a good look at it when it's all sort of filled in ah oh, no i didn't get it enough all right, let's, let's fly over. Let's have a look what this looks like now, and then we'll go and buy some more stone. So. What is that looking like? Yes! Oh man, that, that looks great. Yeah, I like that roof style so much better than the last one. And I like the little detailing here with the white as well. Let's, um... Fly me this way. Yeah, I like that. I think the stone shop is this one over here. Nine stacks for a diamond. Oh, wow. That's amazing. Oh, and I left my ender chest. All right. Let me run back. Let me get my diamonds and then finish off the roof and I'll bring you back in for some more detail work. Oh, guys, look at that. Yeah, I'm really happy with that. It might be too much stone, so I might add the uh, the quartz like lines going up along there. But I don't know. It, it is. It doesn't look too bad as it is. And obviously, we are going to come in and landscape this whole area to make it fit in with its uh, surroundings much more. Okay, so I've been doing a little bit of work on this barn, just uh, changing up the floor for a bit of coarse dirt and regular dirt. I was running out of supplies, so I did have to run home. And while I was there, I decided I wanted to try out some jungle logs because I know that these go really well with like the coarse dirt and stuff. So let's see what that looks like in here. Yeah, that's really nice. That, that's a nice tone as well to go with the, uh, the red terracotta. Um, so let's just scatter a few of these around the place. Um, let's see how that looks. Do, do, do. Yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. Um, I did also do a little work. Really want that one. There. Uh, I decided I wanted this door closed and I added in some actual doors. So if you do want to come out here, you can. Also, I think it looks good having the little handles there. Really wanted to do doors up here as well. But the way Minecraft works, you can't put doors on top of doors, unfortunately. And I did that over here as well for these open doors. Changed them out for a little door thing there. 
It's looking really cool. We're probably gonna need some more light in here. It looks a bit dark still. Oh yeah, guys, this uh, the shop is taking a little bit longer than I expected it to take, but I am really happy with it so far. But guys, this is not it. This is not all of the shop. So we're gonna make a bit of a a market sort of thing out here. So we're gonna get a few. Let's get rid of some of this grass. A few market stalls up here in front of the barn, and then all of our, our stock is gonna be divvied up between some of these stalls outside and the, the inside of the barn. So there's gonna be. A lot of variety and stuff. I kind of want that to be... Yeah. And there we go. Yeah, I like that. There we go, guys. Let's get a little zoom happening so we can see a little bit better. I've started on this market stall system. Very plain, very boring. Don't you worry. We are going to fix that right up. But uh, I'm really, really happy with this. It turned out so much better than I thought it was going to. Let's fly back over there and uh, add a few more details onto this thing. Definitely need to get some hay bales in, bring that color in. And uh, let's see, possibly there, 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 there. Yeah, that's not bad. What if, um, I'm gonna lose a carpet if I do this, but. Let's try that. I like that. We'll have to go back and put that carpet back on. But um, we want there, there. Do we want that maybe actually? I do like that better. We have just enough. Do need to find a way to get some lighting in here. Don't like how that connects there to the fences. So maybe we'll leave that blank. And instead pile them up over here. I'm liking that. Let's get a couple over this way. And maybe a whole bunch back here. Sort of close this area off. Okay, I'm loving this. I'm loving this so, so much. So obviously the next thing to do is to start getting our stock moved in here, I think. So I'm gonna have to run back to base to, uh, to get my stock. And then we'll start filling this place up and making it into a legit shop. All right, guys, I am back in this wonderful farming district and oh, I almost forgot how great it's looking. So, so cool. I love all the brightness and the color and ooh, that's a pretty cool shot over there where you can see the, uh, the windmill over all the fields looking super snazzy. But I am not here to admire the wonderful crops. I am here to fill up some shulker boxes to sell back at our farmer's market at spawn. So this is my first farming area. This is my automatic farms. So let's jump in here and get all of these things out. Yes, I'm selling wheat, selling mushroom. Yeah, there we go. So let's put that back in there for now. So, is this carrots or potatoes? No, okay, pumpkins, we want melons, and I think that's all we, we have here. We've, we've got a lot of stuff um, farming up, but I'm not gonna sell any of this other stuff at our shop, but I do wanna fill up these boxes. Oh, okay, so that one's already done. This one I used up some of the stuff. We're not gonna have a full shulker box of melons. Look at, let's, let's grab all these. I will um, definitely come back and AFK at all my farms now because I'm really clearing them out and we wanna make sure we have enough stock to get, keep that shop lovely and stocked up. But, oh, we don't want that 18 in there. Let's just, um, let's put these in here, I think. We'll leave those there. 
Uh, and the seeds I'll probably take back to my main storage system. Yeah, there we go. That's enough for now. So those two are full. We can say done to those. Next up, let's head over to our villager farms to fill up those shulker boxes. All right, so now we've got full shulker boxes of carrots, wheat, and potatoes. This one here, I, I'm going to sell carrots, but I am going to head over to the uh, villager breeder to collect some more of those up. And I've got this beetroot growing along here. Lovely. You got a full one of those. Now let's head into our cute little witch's hut and get some mushrooms going. There we go. Full shulker box of mushrooms ready to go. And the last thing I want to do is grab one more shulker box and see how many apples we can get filled up in there. Alright guys, after doing some villager trading here with our, our special little farmer guy, this is how many apples I managed to get. Um, I've run out of other resources to trade with him to unlock, so I think I'm going to stop for now, but I can always come back and restock some more. So, with that... I think we've got all of our stock here. We are selling pumpkins, melons, beetroot, carrots, wheat, potatoes, mushrooms, and apples. So yeah, I really like that. Now let's head on back to the shopping district and finish setting this place up. All right, so this is looking so good and we are almost finished with this shop now. The last thing to do is just to figure out prices and label everything. So. We want pumpkins for two stacks for a diamond. There we go. And melons, I think one stack for a diamond. Just because it, the, um, the melons themselves are pretty pricey. Considering the farm, when you farm them, they you only get the uh, like the melon pieces, and I don't have a heap of those. We don't even have a full shulker box of these melons. So one stack for a diamond of melons. Uh, what's this one? Is this from the apples? Yeah, one stack for a diamond. Lovely. Okay, so what do we have next? We want wheat, which I'm thinking will be. Two stacks for a diamond. Nice. Then we've got all of these ones here. Let's go. Um, two stacks for a diamond. Beetroot will also be two stacks for a diamond, I think. Two stacks for a diamond. And then potato and carrots are both going to be three stacks for a diamond, I think. Now let's pop these down in here. These are mushrooms, carrots, beetroot, and potatoes. There we go, guys. This place is all finished. We've got it all labeled. We've got stock for days. Absolutely loving this. Let's uh, let's have a little fly around at the finished shop. So there it is, guys. That's our shop there. Really liking that. And the shulker boxes just add a little bit of color as well. I've used up all my shulker boxes now. And we've only got a few left that I'm already using in my ender chest. So we're, I'm going to have to do some end rating and, and grab myself some more shulkers sometime soon. But yeah, I really like that. It looks like um, we've got the produce in their little barrels there. And I'm, I'm really happy with how this thing turned out. It was a bit of a struggle for me trying to get this sort of style of building um, all working out and looking good. But I think it worked out in the end. And we have got the coolest farmer market on the server, I think. Coming inside, yeah, I, I really like how this turned out, guys. Ah, I'm just so happy with it. it it's really awesome. 
Okay guys, I think we can call this thing completely finished now. I've gone through and added just a few more details. Some signs, some hidden lighting, and as well as that, just inside the barn, I've added some shelving, and of course, an ender chest, because you can't have a shop without an ender chest ATM, of course. <laughs> so yeah, that is all finished, and I, I just am so happy with how it ended up. Really, really cool shop, so yeah, we'll see if it makes us any money. But yeah, that's gonna do it for me today, guys. Leave a like if you enjoyed this episode. Please subscribe if you're interested in seeing what I build next. And leave me a comment for any feedback or ideas. Thank you so much for watching, guys. See ya!